With a variety of different aquatic habitats in the state of Florida, aquatic turtles can be easy to find. However, that can't be said about some of their terrestrial counterparts, such as the species that I'm looking for today. Through the thick underbrush of the Florida scrubland habitats, it took me a while to find some. Here, next to me, is a gopher tortoise crossing the path. This is a keystone species, meaning that the entire environment could collapse if they are not present in an area. This is because they dig burrows for other species to live in, not specifically for other species to live in, but that is a result of what happens when they move out. These burrows can contain hundreds of other Florida species, including invasive species, such as the Burmese python. gopher tortoises were on the brink of extinction due to habitat loss and various other factors. Their populations were on the decline. However, recently, they've become way more plentiful in many of these different habitats. The gopher tortoise is either endangered or threatened in all the states that it inhabits, and is federally protected throughout its range. However, these animals are still at risk because of continuous urban development across these habitats. This development primarily happens in coastal scrubland habitats because of the demand of property near the ocean. Gopher tortoises get their name from the burrowing rodent, the gopher. And it makes sense because these reptiles are expert diggers. Their burrows can stretch almost 50 feet long and can go about 10 feet deep. Over 350 species of animals have been known to inhabit vacant gopher tortoise burrows, and may even use them for shelter while the tortoise is out foraging. This includes the hispid cotton rat, as well as a plethora of invasive species that can also be found within these ecosystems. That's it for the gopher tortoise, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.